what will fulfill me today? What is infinitely pleasing? How do I move in this direction? Not from, it can't happen, it's not possible, but from this place of, of course it's possible. And there's so much literature, so many videos, so much about the metaphysical and the quantum fields and all of these things where everything is possible. I get asked this a lot because I have transformational coach in my flow as well. People are like, what is a transformational coach? What is transformational coaching? I've heard of life coaching. I've heard of health coaching. What is a transformational coach? How would you sum up being a transformational coach? What One of my is favorite it questions. Means? Thank you for asking. <laughs> we think transformation is about magic. Bada bing, bada boom. I'm gonna, you're gonna come see me and I'm gonna wave my magic wand and poof, you're gonna, all your problems are gonna disappear. All that hard stuff is gonna go away and you're gonna have this paradigm shift. Ta-da! That doesn't happen and we don't want it to happen because if I were to deem you magically shifted, Amber, to that which you want, you would have no capacity to be in that new you. You'd show up and you go, what the F? Like, I don't know, this is, I don't have any sense of, you know, there's no context for that new you other than this is what you wanted. It's like the genie in the bottle and you say, what's your wish? And you become that, but you have no, no sense of how you got there and what to do with that. Yeah. So transformational coaching, a, a transformational coach, well, first of all, transformational coaching requires a paradigm shift, which means 99% of what we are consumed in and swim in is fear fear-based reality. Transformational coaching takes you from that paradigm and does, goes through a paradigm shift to this place where you are fearless, fearless. And you're in, um, you function from your essence. You're functioning from your desires and your fulfillment. So you wake up in the morning saying, what will fulfill me today? What is infinitely pleasing? How do I move in this direction? Not from, it can't happen, it's not possible but from this place of, of course it's possible. And there's so much literature, so many videos, so much about the metaphysical and the quantum fields and all of these things where everything is possible. This is a long answer. So I love to... it. Just keep going. <laughs> so, tra so transformation is the moving through the process is really literally the, the caterpillar moving along and at some point getting the urge to shift and transform and and uh, and create this catalyst where it becomes an uh, basically a mush as it transforms and transmutes into this butterfly that's a huge lot of energy and a lot of for butter for for the caterpillar it just knows to do that we would do that and actually we do it on so many levels our body is constantly moving through this transformation from childhood to um, all of a sudden we're menstruating or having erections or you know we begin to and then menopause happen like these things just happen and that's all transformation um, but when we start to think about transformation we go oh i don't know how to do that and it happens automatically if we allow it to and that and it, and and if we can get beyond the fear-based orientation in life, life becomes much more easy because we're not afraid. But 99% of us is a, are afraid. And that's why we hate ourselves because like, well, he doesn't look like he's afraid. And he's as afraid as you, as you are. You just don't realize because you're not in his body. But so a transformational coach is a steward supporting and empowering individuals through this process. And a transformational coach has the knowing of the paradigm that you're going towards. So transformational coaches who are fear-based in essence won't get you there because they're still operating within the context of fear. Transformational coaches have to, in my mind, have to know of this other paradigm and not only know of it, but experience the truth of that so that when you're when whoever is working with a transformational coach and you come in we'll, we'll say like matt matt goes i don't know 
I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what this is about. I go, yeah, I totally get it. And at the same time, when he's speaking, I can hear the part that already knows this, that this transformational, this essence, this exquisite resonance and frequency with the higher vibrational hymn. It's exquisite. And so my job is to hold it both, hold him where he is in his fear, hold him where he is in his knowing and help him feel and sense into all of that. So it's not such a um, terrible, horrible, scary thing, but, but it becomes a normal evolution of self. So yes. one of the things, I'll say one more thing about this, when I'm working or start with a new client and quite often um, I say to them on the phone or Zoom and I say, okay, when our, in our first meeting, I'm gonna ask you what you want. Like, what do you want? And they say, well, I kind of want a better job. I kind of want more money. I kind of want this kind of want thing, okay? And I go, okay, stop. I said, I want you to think of me as your fairy godmother. This is my magic wand. And right now I have the power to empower you to have whatever it is you want. Now in, as I'm saying that Amber, you can see there as you're doing, they light up and they go, wow, I'm with my fairy godmother. This is, and this is with men and women will do this. Wow, that's, and, and something shifts and transforms in that moment. And they go from, well, I kind of want what I think I can have to what I really want is this red Tesla sports car. What I really want is to live in Atlanta, Georgia, where I can study blah, 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 and have access to what I really want is, and, and this, this happens. There's no fear in the conversation. There's no fear in the presence of the individual. And this is, this is who they are. This is the essential nature and the divine expression. This is it. And that's my job is to bring everyone into this, this level of divine, natural, essential expression that we each came in here to have, have for ourselves and to share with the world. And that's what lights me up every morning. And it shows. <laughs> and where I have immense gratitude is that we now through Suivera have had this amazing opportunity to bring that through and to our community and the inward bound course that you mentioned that you're making available through our organization has already gotten rave reviews nice. i mean feedback has just been nothing but glowing so can you talk a little bit about what that course is and what you're offering through it? Well, the, the intention is that is to, is to, it's, it's a basic training. Okay. It's just a, you know, the boot camp for self-transformation. So it's the, for me, it's the elements of what it takes to move oneself through a transformational progress process. It's, it's the elements so that people can get familiar with what is it what's required here's where and where here's where it gets sticky here's where it gets exciting here's where it sucks right so so there's 21 videos i think there's more but basically there's 21 videos of me saying hey here's what we're talking about today and the uh that place of what it's really like to be in the metamorphosis stage what it's really like when we can't stand how it feels, how uncomfortable it is, what it's really like when we like, oh my God, I'm sorry, I've got, I've got wings, or I'm excited because I have the idea and, I, and I'm, I, I, I'm not feeling afraid in this moment, those kinds of things. So it's the real reality of, from my perspective, of a transformational process. It's not like when you come through it, you're going to, maybe you'll have a transformational experience and even every revelation we have, every insight we have contributes to that transcendence in, in transformative element. Like, wow, I do feel that butterfly element, you know, or that essence of myself um, coming through. Uh, and so it's that ability to begin to recognize this process. Um, even the first two days, I think, are the best in a sense. The first one is, hey, what do you want? Again, if I'm your fairy godmother, 
and and my job is to empower you to have whatever it is you want what is that what's infinitely pleasing for you and it gives you room to go here's what i really want i really want that red tesla i really want three children i really want that fuzzy dog that's you know in the i really want in that that desire is in the heart and then the next day is the yes but what if and if only so it's like i really want that dog okay but what if but what if or if only it didn't cost 1200 you know all of those um you know or yes but i really want that dog yes but i've already got a dog you know it's like all of the things that takes our wonder and wonderfulness and desire in our essential expression of self and the next moment it's like yeah but i really can't do that i really can't have that that negativity shows up and our ability to just notice that wow i didn't even and, and this happens a lot my client will be like in this moment and within a split second they're down into the yes buts and i go stop stop you didn't even give yourself one moment one breath of how wonderful that was before you kind of pooped on yourself with that yes but i can't have it and so that in itself is that very can be very transformative for people to and, and revelatory to go yes i never let myself have have a more than two seconds of that amazingness and desire of fulfillment before i start to yes but what if it only and if only those two those three words are just i mean there's more but those are the basics of what gets in our way of transformation it's not really possible you know nobody else is doing it it's like everybody's doing it everybody's doing it we're just doing it secretly because we don't want to be found out <laughs>